Peggy, I, I've just got to see the chief. Now, Bastoink, you know what happened last time you were in his office? Please, Peggy, I've just got to see him. It's very important. And I'll be careful when I'm in there this time. Please, Peggy. Okay, I'll try. Uh, Chief, uh, Bastoink Dooley would like to see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I know all that, sir, but he says it's very important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says he'll be careful. Yes, sir. Okay, Bastoink, he'll see you, but just for a minute. He's very busy. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Thank you. <laughs> Hold it, Dooley. Now you stand right there and don't move an inch while you talk. And talk fast because I'm a very busy man. Now, what is on your mind? Mind. Chief, I know where there's a great story and I want to cover it. Great human interest stuff. Please let me is cover it. Is that what you call it? important? Now look, Dooley, I told you I'm a very busy man. Will you please get out of here? <laughs> Chief, I've been a copy boy for 14 years now, and you keep telling me that I can do some reporting when the right thing comes along, and this is a great story. I know, Chief. Uh, you... Look here, Dooley. What story is it? It's Blood Mountain. It's bleeding again. I was home watching TV and... Is the... that what you call a story? The natives have been feeding that guff to the tourists for years. There's no story there. All that talk about blood on the rocks and, and the monster of the mountain. <laughs> listen, listen, Chief. Tomorrow's my day off. I'll go out on my own time, and, and I'll use my own pencil. Chief, I know there's a story there, and I'll get it for the bullcat. I'm a very busy man. I'm a very busy man. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Chief. Get out of here, Dooley! Do what you want on your own time, but just get out of here and leave me alone! Gee, thanks, Chief. I'm a reporter at last. You won't be sorry. You won't be sorry. Here, have a cigar, Chief. Thanks. Well, this is my cigar! Oh, I'm sorry. My beautiful Havana's. My beautiful Havana's. May I present Miss Phyllis Stinson. Hello, Mr. Dooley. And Miss Ava Renman, Dr. Stinson's assistant. How do you do, Mr. Dooley? Girls, may I introduce Bestoink Dooley? Please, ladies, just call me Bestoink. <laughs>
Are you from the city? Why, yes. Figured you was. I got a boy down there getting an education. You know him? I don't know. What's his name? Luther Snodgrass. There have been some reports of violence over the centuries of years of legend of this hairy giant. Uh, by the way, has anyone ever seen the monster? Yes, sir. My own granny seen the monster. And folks say just the sight of it hastened her death. Why, she passed on hardly eight years after seeing it. What did it look like? Granny said it were like the gates of hell opened up. She said it were the most blood curdled in sight you could imagine. Yes, but what did it look like? Well, she said it walked just like a human. And it were the biggest thing she'd ever seen. She said it had arms, and legs, and a frightful face. She said the face would drive men crazy. It was terrible. Oh, come now, Susan. Surely you don't believe such ridiculous drivel. Meaning no offense, sir. But there be a monster.